Kiwi actress Lucy Lawless has been in some of the biggest action series ever made. Hasn't she just? But she's most famous, of course, for kicking some serious butt as Xena Warrior Princess. And joining us live from LA now is Lucy Lawless. Lucy, good morning and thank you for Hello. your time. Hello. Now, thank you. It's that totally was fascinating <laughs> about the sugar. Wasn't Isn't it, it just? <laughs> but yeah, I was writing down cool. a few things of what I should and shouldn't eat, that's for sure. Now, you are fascinating. We cannot forget you as Xena Warrior Princess. That was a role that was awesome, and I'm sure you had a lot of fun playing that. Uh, yeah, I sure did. Got a few, um, you know, loosened a few teeth and a couple of black eyes, but uh, I learned an awful lot that way. What, what about all that action that you had to do? You said you got a little bit of damage there, but you must have had to train hard for the part. I'm assuming there was no sugar in your diet back then, Lucy? <laughs> plenty of sugar. <laughs> plenty of sugar. Um... You know, there was a little bit of training before, but I was really thrown in the deep end, so uh, it was pretty much learning on the job, and uh, I'm quite grateful for it, actually. I can catch, like, a set of keys, pull it right out of the air without even looking sometimes if I'm not thinking about it. You have the instincts if of I a puma. If I think about it, I'm lost. <laughs> what? You have the instincts of a puma now. I do. Uh, of a cougar. <laughs> 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 what about the rumours? Can you confirm or deny rumours that uh, Xena might be making a comeback? Well, um, I can't say definitively, but certainly people are looking into the legals of it. it. You know, there was some sort of a screw up in the papers whereby nobody knows who truly owns it. And so in the old days, what studios used to do is like bury something rather than share it. But I think in this day and age, it's, it's, it's too good a property to uh, leave underground, you know. So um, it's, surely it's better to have, let's say, 70 percent of something rather than 100 percent of nothing. You know, so uh, I'm hopeful, that's for sure. Well, Lucy, you're so, you were so great, and you have a lot of fans watching the show now who would have. You who dear little it. Aussies. Yeah, it was so much it. more popular in Auss uh, Aussie than anywhere else. It was cold. You had to watch that. Yeah, it was well, necessary. Viewing. God bless you. God bless us, Aussies. That's nice of you to say that. Hey, I also want to talk about you. Also featured recently in one of my favourite shows of all time, which is Curb Your Enthusiasm. You oh, played yeah. yourself against Larry David. How was doing that show? Really divine. He's. Um, he is that guy, but less nutty, you know, um, though I think he can be pushed, probably. Had some pretty funny times with, uh, with him that what? I can't actually go into. But, yeah, <laughs> okay. He's, he's, well, you were a love interest. Divine. I'm just going to leave it for the folks at home. You were a love interest. Let's just leave it at that. I know. I was just going to say, well, well, what are the funny times? Yeah. Can you tell us about them? <laughs> but no, if you don't want to talk about that, no drama. Now, we know you're not just an actor. Is it true, though, you wanted to be an opera singer uh, as a child? Yes, but m my story is that if you listen to Puccini, that'll do it to you because it's just, it's so beautiful and it's so romantic and, um, and Mozart also. But, um, but I quickly kind of... You know what? I lost my confidence somewhere as a teenager. Pro didn't have the right teacher, whatever it was, um, and stopped singing for about 10 years uh, and then have played around with it. But only now am I coming back to singing in a, in a bigger way. And you are coming back. You're coming back to New Zealand, just across the pond. You're going to be I'm, in Chicago, the musical. Yep. Are you ready for your Fosse close-up? Um, I am not. What is, uh, because I'll, I'll wait until the director, until the director comes and sort of beats me into shape. But um, I've been working out a little bit with some Fosse coaches here in L.A. Um, but it's going to be a very different kind of show. It, you're going to have to think more Sopranos, much grittier, uh, because Michael Hurst, who played Aeolus in uh, the Hercules series, you might remember, and yep. who's a brilliant director on Spartacus and, and a great friend, He's a world-class talent, and he views the world in an extremely interesting, unique way. So um, we'll be doing Michael Hurst's um, Chicago, and it, it's going to be very... It's going to be wicked fun, yeah. And lots of, lots of darling little Aussies are coming to it. I was about to say, so, there'll be a lot of people booking so, right now to go across the pond and see you in that, and I certainly yeah, will Yeah, I'm, I'm so grateful to, to you all for all the... All the love and support. So, because without your fans, you're nothing. And um, Australia's been extremely good to to me. So, well, Lucy, yeah. thank you for recognising that because we love you and thank you for your time Yay. this morning. She's My wonderful. pleasure. Lovely to talk to you. Lovely to talk to you. Sugar-free, cool Lucy. Lady. Yeah, wonderful. Well, she likes lady. her sugar now.